What's up everybody, Chris Murray here, or as you know me as C. Murray uh, on my channel and social media. Today we're here to talk about uh, Red's big announcement. They've kind of been teasing about it all week. Jared's been posting about it. You might even gotten an email about it if you're uh, signed up with Red. Uh, that there's a big announcement July 6th. Get your credit cards ready, Jared Land said, and uh, be ready for Red's next big endeavor, whatever that may be. A lot of people were nervous that it could be a new camera because um, a lot of people invest a lot of money in these cameras. And then when something new comes out, it's exciting, but it can also be daunting when you just put a lot of money in a camera that gets obsolete. But that is not the case today. They actually did something that is, I, for me, was a little unexpected. I did hear the rumor mill going this route with some things saying that this is a possibility. Um, before we even dive into that though, let's just say what it is. They did today announce that they are releasing a smartphone, a mobile device by Red Digital Cinema. Red.com has gone from the Red One to now releasing its own cell phone. So it is called the Hydrogen One. So it's kind of cool because it's the first, they call it the One, kind of going back to the Red Ones. This is Red's attempt to revolutionizing the smartphone. So what can this smartphone do? Well, they're advertising it as a holographic media machine. Yep, holographic, Star Wars is real now. Help me, Red, you're my only hope. I think that's a meme already, I shouldn't have said that. That's, I'll just post the meme here, credits to whoever did that. They are advertising this new smartphone, uh, Hydrogen One, to be able to, I have notes here. They're advertising the Hydrogen One to be able to be a personal communication device, an information gathering device, a holographic multi-view device, being able to view content in 2D, 3D, view AR, view VR, view MR, and be capable of image capture. It is a standalone smartphone operating on Android OS. So for all you iOS, Apple fans over there, I don't see it happening. Apple is a very close system, we all know this. Apple already makes phones for Apple. The Mac OS is done for Macs. The iOS is done for iPhones. I don't see Apple willing or even wanting to share what it has to offer when it's working so well in their favor. Android is an open system, that's what it's made for, that's why Red went that route. And trust me, I guarantee if Red had the opportunity to release this phone on Android and Apple iOS, it absolutely would, because why wouldn't you want to share this more with uh, as many people as you possibly can? So it's not like a, an argument thing of who's better or whatever, it's just that Android is an open system, they are known, and that is what they thrive on, is to be able to apply their OS to multiple different companies, multiple different brands, and this allows an open system for Red to experiment and try new things with. With Apple, it's a very close system, you're getting what you're getting, and Apple's in full control of the iOS. So it is a standalone smartphone operating on Android OS, and you will not be using any glasses or wearable displays to utilize the cool features that they are advertising, so they say. It's gonna be in your device. How does that make sense? I don't know, that's what Red is trying to show us. Uh, we just have to be patient because as of today, they are not showing us that much, sadly. So they're claiming that it has a, a look around depth feature. And if you're familiar with the Nintendo 3DS, they explored this technology way, way back uh, uh, many, many years ago with their Nintendo 3DS. And it's cool because it, it sells itself as the 3DS, but instead of the images on the screen popping out at you, they kind of like create this depth effect where it looks like you could reach your hand into the world of your phone. So it's 3D inside the device. And that's what I imagine what Red is doing here. Um, so they must be inspired by Nintendo or, or just the, the idea of just pushing technology further, seeing what's new, seeing what's out there. So that's very interesting. It is quite novelty. And it is interesting because Nintendo explored that world many years ago and now they're kind of moving away from it. The Switch does not have that technology. The Wii U abandoned that technology. Um, granted, these are consoles compared to handheld devices, but the Nintendo Switch could be argued as a handheld device, and that I think was what Nintendo's trying to market it as. Nintendo's releasing another handheld device that just, it's the Nintendo 3DS XL without any 3D technology. They're moving away from it. They're kind of like closing it down, it seems like. So Nintendo explored it, 
it picked up as novelty. Some people liked it. Most often people preferred to just play their games in 2D. So it's interesting to see the approach Red takes with this, but that is not the sole purpose of this device like it was with Nintendo. So that's just one of many features and it helped better explain the look around depth they're um, advertising. Um, it is a 5.7 inch Pro Hydrogen Holographic Display. A holographic display. So that's really interesting. I just wanna see how it works. And it's a shame they're not putting out any videos it is a retina display and it does claim to use nanotechnology. Cue the Metal Gear Solid music. So that switches between 2D content, holographic multi-view content, 3D content, interactive games, and both landscape and portrait modes are supported. So this is a big multi-viewing device. It's more of a media device than a smartphone, but it's great to see other companies like Red get out there and really try to push the boundaries. That'll force all the other companies to push the boundaries and have us keep moving forward uh, with progressing technology. It's not like if you miss out on this one, you're probably gonna miss out on everything. These will be around, but they will be hard to get. I can guarantee you that because Red is known to announce something, sell out on it, and have pre-orders date back years um, before it could catch up. I should know, I'm shooting this on a Red product right now. This is a Red Raven that's shooting this video. I ordered this Red Raven in September. It was announced in September, and I got it in August of 2016. So pre-ordered September 2015, received it in hand August 2016, and I was an early pre-order so imagine anyone that waited a couple weeks or a couple months but back to the phone back to the hydrogen one they are calling it red hydrogen 4 view or dot h4v that's going to be their codec that this phone uses kind of similar to your dot h264 so this is their hydrogen 4 view technology which will allow us to view this content of holograms and vr and support all this stuff and in OS, it's proprietary H3O algorithm, which is kind of all nerd stuff. If you're not really that interested in it, we can move on. But it's a technology that converts the stereo sound to a multi-dimensional audio, very similar to what you see now with VR. Um, PlayStation VR supports this 3D audio, they call it. You see it with the HTC Vive, you see it with the Oculus. It's a way of immersion uh, to get you more involved in the world that you're gonna be, you're gonna be venturing into with this new technology. It works pretty well with VR. I own a PlayStation VR and I have been very satisfied with the results I've been getting with that. I've tried the Oculus, I've not tried the Vive, but if you're in any way familiar with that, that's what I'm imagining the similar technology is going to be built into your into the OS, into the, the Hydrogen One phone. It will be a modular phone. They're advertising modularity, very similar to their entire DSMC2 line of cameras. So expect upgrades, expect accessories, which also means that there's a high, high chance that it will not be able to do everything it advertises out of the box. And as a matter of fact, they even state that that's true. Future attachments for shooting higher quality motion and still images and holographic images uh, will be available. So that means future attachments. So does that mean we are not able to do that on release of the initial product? Very likely is what that means. So just keep that in mind. You're getting the phone for the price that I will be announcing here in a second. Um, and it's gonna be capable of doing all these things just like my Red Raven as a brain was capable of recording all this content, but I needed accessories to power it. Not saying you will for this, but to get all the features that they're advertising, you may need to have future attachments. What's really cool is it's going to be acting as a command center. That's what excites me. For if you own a RED camera, if you own a Scarlett, uh, an Epic W or a weapon, this will be able to act as a monitor and control source. So if you're familiar with full control, this is a, an app you could get on your iOS device that allows you to have full control of the camera. You can rack focus, you can change all settings from a distance through Wi-Fi, and it's a really, really awesome feature if you've never seen it. So this I'm imagining is kind of taking that type of technology, putting it into the phone. Now your phone is like another source to control your camera be a second monitor, um, a really useful tool to have on set for any assistant camera or DP. So that's a really nice feature to just add in, considering that my 4.7 inch DSMC2 monitor alone costs around $1,500. This phone does much more and can give me a, a screen, which is about 5.7 inches, which is bigger than my current RED monitor. 
They announced that they will be doing a red channel, which I can imagine is similar to YouTube, or will be, where you'll be able to upload, share content with others of, that you're shooting with your red, because not everything's gonna support this .h4v up front. Uh, I can't imagine everyone will even support it for a long, long time now. This is new technology. We're still arguing to this date. Rev released the Rev 1 in, what, 2008, I believe? Correction if I'm wrong. But 2008, I believe, was the Rev 1. 4K was brought into the mainstream market. And still to this day, in 2017, the argument is there of whether we need 4K or not. Are we ready? Have we made the move? Canon's still not putting in their cameras, and it took this many years. So I can't imagine everyone rushing to support .h4v content. And Red's solution to that here is bringing you the Red channel, allowing them to have the app on your phone, or however they deliver to you so you can have full access to this content to share it and view it. Will you most likely need another Hydrogen One phone to view and share all this content? Yes, most definitely, I can imagine. So this is gonna be a closed system as well, similar to Apple, but it is a step in the right direction for what can come down the line. So the price, the big number, they're advertising it as $1,195 for the aluminum and $1,595 for the titanium model. And if you're familiar with RED, they offer these separate models as well as like magnesium, carbon fiber uh, with their cameras. So this is very similar to the way they offer. It's just you pay a little more for a little bit better build of a, of a product. So they're advertising that if you pre-order today, when they announce on July 6th, maybe it's July 7th as you're watching this, that you will receive this phone from their personal batch. And the order must be placed today from what I understand. And they're already going to be expecting delays. Um, if you wait until the launch date. There's no guarantee of pricing once this device is released. So if you order it today, you should be locked in with the price you get. Shipping and tax is not included. They will add that on at the end once they begin shipping. What do you get for that price of $1,195 for the aluminum or $1,595 for the titanium? You'll be getting a USB-C powered phone. You will get the cable with that for charging purposes. It will come with a micro SD slot and you will get a special small token for being a one of the forefront pre-orders of this new technology. What that small token is, we don't know yet, but hopefully it's better than a sticker. Uh, so additional modules may and most likely will not be available immediately. We've, we've ran into this problem with RED, except RED kind of had modules available before the camera and then some modules available after. It's just the name of the game. When you're an early adopter, these things, you, we should know how this goes by now. If this is your first time into it, this is new technology altogether. Um, it is a smartphone, so I guess it's still within the realm of that, but don't expect to be able to access all the features of your of your phone on day one. My, I've had my Red since August 2016. I believe they announced it. It was officially shipping March 2016 and it's still getting firmware updates showing what more it can do and pushing the boundaries even more so. And we just had IPP2 drop. So it's gonna be a while before I'm sure all the things they're advertising are in here. And they're stating that it will begin shipping the quarter one of 2018. So it will begin shipping quarter one of 2018. So there you have it. That is the Red Hydrogen One, uh, the new Red smartphone. It sounds so weird to say. But yeah, so will you be picking it up? As I saw it and I read it, they are not giving you a lot of information. Everything I gave you is what was is given to you on red.com. You can go there and check all these specs out yourself, but you're not gonna find much more than that and a little sneak peek image. There's no demos, there's no video, there's no application of this device. It all seems like an idea in the making right now. And it's relying on us to back it to kind of push it further which is cool if you're into that, if that's something you wanna do, like by all means. When I first read it, I said, I don't know, I'm very integrated in Apple iOS. And I just said, this is great. I love the idea of them taking this technology and making it to help push everyone else forward and just change the industry as we know, and we could just keep moving forward, um, changing all future devices and what we're capable of. And then as I was sitting and getting ready to film this, and as time passed and you see everyone talking about it, you start to think, and I compare it to the monitor that's about 14 something, 14, $1,500, 4.7-inch monitor I have, and what that's capable of, and what this is capable of. And I can still keep my iOS device and have this device to do all that other cool things with. Or as the day keeps moving on, it, ah, I kind of like want it. It's so weird. When I first read it, I was like, absolutely not, not into it, not for me. 
I love what it's offering, but it's just not something I need right now. And it's still not something I need, but I don't know. Watch this video, read some things, and tell me what you think. I, I, it grows on you, the idea, um, as it wears on. I'm really curious, and, and holograms, holograms, Star Wars, like, I, sh I shouldn't even be questioning this. I should go pre-order it right now. All right, I'm going. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. You can dislike if you want, if you think this wasn't informative enough, but trust me, I gave you just as much as Red is giving you on red.com. Jump over there, check it out, see for yourself, maybe place a pre-order. In the comments below, I wanna see what you think. I wanna see uh, if you pre-ordered one. Uh, what's it gonna shoot at? Is it gonna shoot 4K? It has to, right? It's Red, why wouldn't they shoot 4K on the phone? These are all things that have to be in question. And once you add all these modules, all, all of a sudden, do you have this big device? How big is it? Just go to red.com, there's an image there. I could post an image probably in this video, but thank you so much for watching. I'm really interested to hear what you think and I'll catch you on the next video.